beautiful people welcome back to my channel so today i have a story time for you guys i'm so excited so this is another on the run series story time something that happened while i was on the run so basically this is a bonfire story time so this was the first time for me like going to a bonfire so anyways after her parents caught us at that house where we were staying at they left and everything so by this time everybody had left our house and it was only so it was orlando my homegirl carmelo and me so we were chilling and everything and we were like talking and everything having so much fun making fun of carmelo like always all of a sudden carmelo and orlando started talking about a bonfire I'm personally never trying to go out and they're always trying to like convince me to go but this time I don't know why my homegirl is so mad I think she's so mad because my homeboy had called his um her mama she's mosa so I think she's still mad about that but I want to go out for once and my homegirl's like nah me and Mary we're gonna stay we're gonna clean we have to clean when I hear that I'm like bitch what first of all I actually want to go out and second of all we cleaned in the morning I'm not gonna be cleaning twice or three times a day honey no thank you clean once a day that's fine okay i'm not gonna be cleaning just because you don't want to go out uh-uh sis we it's not about to do that so i started to fit i so i start convincing her like come on like let's go you know and she's like well we need to get ready so we start getting ready you know and we all end up going and we stop by the uh, oil which is a corner store but it's an underground we go there we buy all the freaking uh, 24 packs of beer and we're we're cruising and we're getting there and we're drinking and we're like you know vibing having a good time or whatever and we're sitting outside and there's a bonfire and everything they don't have like s'mores they didn't have s'mores so i was like what the hell what type of bonfire is this but they all had a lot of turn up a lot of modelos coronas everything and we were all like in a group and there was like some of Carmelo and Orlando's family members and there were some friends and everything and there was this other girl so then we we're drinking and drinking and drinking and my homegirl's like let's try to drink the same amount of turnip and she drinks a lot way more than me but I was like you know what yeah let's do it so we're drinking Coronas and Modelos you know woo, having so much fun and we noticed that like we're running low and running low and as we keep drinking everybody keeps drinking they're big drinkers <sighs> We run out of turnip so like two or three of the guys like almost all the guys decided to go like to the store and the girls were gonna stay and like just chill you know and drink the like little bit rest that we have and they were gonna go and get more beer and one girl gets up and she's like going with them and i'm just like you know like what the heck you know like i'm not trying to be rude or anything but like none of the girls are going besides her you know what i'm saying and there's like married guys that are going and there's guys in relationships and there's like a couple single guys so i'm like okay whatever you know i don't pay too much mind to it so then i notice that we hear that the car a car's pulling up and it's them so we are like okay like they're back you know everybody gets out the car with the drinks and everything they're like we're back like you know we're having so much fun and my home girl's like have you noticed who hasn't came back but everybody else already got off the car but like there's two people that did it. And I'm like, who? And she said, Carmelo and that one girl. And I was like, oh, this is the game we're going to play? Okay. So it turns out it was Carmelo and that girl. And I was low-key feeling some type of a way because I low-key had feelings for Carmelo, you know? So I was just like, wow. You know, I just felt like kind of disappointed in a way. I just, I don't know. I just, I wasn't. I don't know. Like, no, boo-boo. You're not finna be talking to me all cute and stuff and now you over here with this chick. Like, I'm not feeling that. That's not what we're gonna do. So me and my homegirl start yelling out to the girl, puta, ho, slut. Like, we're just yelling a whole bunch of insults towards them and I'm pretty sure they could hear because seconds later they get out the car. Like, you know what I mean? And, like, she starts, like, walking ahead before he comes back. Like, you guys are not slick. Like, everybody knows y'all stayed in the car together. And my homeboy was, like, saying, my homeboy Orlando's like, Yeah, she was, like, all over him in the car and stuff. And I was like, okay, for sure. I see what game we're playing. So, yeah, 
we were just talking mad shit about her. We were just like, whatever. We forgot about that. And then my bladder, everybody know that I drink with me, that I have a small bladder. So I needed to use the restroom. We go inside the house, we use the restroom, and then we do this a couple of times. And my homegirl's always going with me, you know, because like, got to stick together. And plus, I don't really know nobody. So for her to come with me is the best thing to do. So yeah, we're just like, whatever, you know. And then they all want a picture together. And I'm like, all right, let's take a picture, you guys. Like, whatever. I'll be the one taking the picture. I don't want to be in it. So I'm taking the picture. And every time I'm taking the picture, the picture keeps coming out dark. And, it like, you can't see anything. You know, it's dark outside. Except my homeboy, he's wearing a white shirt. He's wearing a white t-shirt. So he's the only one that it comes out in the photo. Everybody else looks, like, really dark. And you can barely see them. I was just like, why do they have the drunkest motherfucker, a.k.a. me, take a picture of them you know and why did nobody think about turning on the flash or having somebody else uh have the flashlight on while i take the picture i don't know we were all just drunk as hell having so much fun laughing and then he go carmelo's extra is going like these you know playing like the guitar the air guitar i'm like boy stop it like there's no guitar there i start getting really tipsy so i throw up on the side of my chair and I tell everybody, oh my god, I threw up. Nobody step right here on the throw up. You know, I was trying to be considerate, but low-key, that's gross. And me and my hunger were just having so much fun. I was just chilling, and I just looked super drunk more than everybody else. And my homegirl's like, oh my god, she's cold, Carmelo. You should, like, honestly give her your jacket. And he was like, nah. I was like, nah, I'm not cold. And then he was like, yeah, she's not cold. And I was like, low-key, like, mm, he's kind of rude. Because, like, I don't know. She kept telling him, like, she's cold, you know. And my homeboy, Orlando's like, he sees me as a little sister. So he gives me his jacket. He's like, here, you're cold. They put it on me like it's a blanket because I'm over here falling asleep on the chair. And it was kind of hilarious because I was actually really hot. Because when I drink, I get, like, really hot. Like, I don't know. It feels like it's 90 degrees outside. So I grab the sweater and I throw it. And I'm going to insert a clip of me doing that if I could find it. <laughs> no. I just bought that shit! Oh, I left my note right here. Oh, Let me just put it here because I know there has to be a reason. And it was hilarious because my homeboy's like, no, why you throw it? I barely bought that, that jacket or whatever. It was hilarious, hilarious, hilarious. And it was just such a good time. And I remember they kept trying to put jackets on me and I kept throwing them like, no, I'm not hot. I already told y'all it's hot outside. I'm not cold. They kept thinking I'm cold. I'm like, I already told y'all I'm not cold. Stop it. So then, since I'm over here falling asleep in those yard chairs that they be having outside, the foldable ones or like the plastic ones. I don't remember. I think it was a plastic one. I fall to the ground and they're like, oh my gosh, she fell. She fell. Oh my God, Carmelo, pick her up. She fell. Never being so extra. And then, instead of like, you know, grabbing me by the arm, helping me up. This motherfucker is so extra acting like this is a romantic um, teenager movie. Like, an, I don't know what he thought this was. So, he like, I don't know if he thought this was The Notebook or Titanic, but it's, it's not, honey. So, stop it. So, he picks me up like a baby, like, you know? And then I'm like, okay. And then he puts me down. And he's trying, they're still thinking that I'm cold. So, he's, like, trying to wrap around his jacket around me. And, you know, instead of putting me like this, like a blanket, he's putting it on me this way. And he's pulling back, like, trying to, like, cover me up like a burrito. I, I don't know. And instead of, like, covering me up, making me warm and cozy, he's choking me. So I'm like, and I, I started trying to pull it. I'm like, dude, stop, stop. But I couldn't really talk because he was already choking me. So then I grab him. I'm like, there's, like, my arm. And I go like that so hard and he's like Ugh, like you know and i'm like i told you you were choking me and i and i move i'm like move and i was being hella rude to him and we ended up leaving from there and my they're like trying to he's trying to help me like walk and my homegirl gets jealous and she's like move this is my homegirl this is my sister this is my best friend i'm gonna be the one helping her she would be my extra but like you know i'd rather have her help me out because she's a girl and, she, and i'm close to her you know so we're in the car and she sits in the back in the back seat with me and orlando sits in the front seat and they're driving and driving and i'm like i need a pee i need a pee because you know i have a really small bladder and he's like oh my god don't worry i'm gonna get to a gas station or to anything that comes up and you can go use the restroom and i'm like yeah okay and we pull up to a, a mcdonald's it was still open but the lobby was closed so 
they have one of those metal things that go like this and i'm like okay okay can can you i told my hunger can you take me like right there i'm gonna pee right right behind it so nobody sees me type of stuff and i go behind it and I told my homegirl, okay, because she was holding my hand the whole time. I'm like, okay, I'm going to let go, you know, since I'm a pee. She's like, no, hold my hand. What if you fall? So I pee, and I guess I wet her converse with my pee. I was like, I felt so bad. And we get back in the car and stuff like that, and we're driving back home. And like I said, I get really hot when I'm drunk, so the windows were up. And I'm like, can you put the windows down? Because, like, honestly, I can't breathe and they put them down and then my homeboy orlando was bitching because of the whistling noise that the windows make when the windows are open and people are driving in the interstate really fast so they put them up and they put them down and i started crying i'm like oh my god he's being so rude like i really can't breathe and it was just like so funny as hell so we get home and orlando's like i mean so we get home and we're all inside the house and they're like, okay, she's inside the house. And I was going to go to sleep in the living room where I used to sleep. And they're like, no, nah, sleep in the room with us so we could take care of you because you're like super drunk. And I was like, okay, that's fine. I will. In the room and stuff like that. And they're like, are you hungry? And I'm like, no. And they're like, okay, well, you're really drunk. So we want to feed you, you know, like stay by here or whatever, or you could feel better. So um, they feed me cereal, which is disgusting. Who feeds somebody that's drunk cereal, like milk, that's disgusting. I don't know I'm, if it's just me, but I find it really gross so um the good thing that she filled it up with more cereal than milk so it was like mostly cereal that i was chewing on and i was chewing on it and but i didn't really chew on it and i would be like <laughs> like that and spit it out and they thought it was super funny my mom was like you threw some on my face i couldn't stop laughing we were all laughing and we we're just having such a good time talking all night and then we fall asleep and i had a really bad hangover from that but it was such a fun time honestly so anyways you guys thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to like comment and subscribe turn your post notifications so you don't miss my next upload and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys